<laughs> well, a little earlier in the show, we talked about skin care trends for 2019. And here in Living 808, we're always on top of what's going on in beauty because in TV, it can make or break you. Yeah, so we thought we'd try out one of these trends for ourselves. When you're in the media, being beautiful is a full-time job. If you want to enter the world of beauty and glamour, get ready for a lot of work. Welcome to the Living 808 Hidden World of Beauty. We're going to check out the latest Hollywood beauty trend. Guys, I know this might seem a little strange, but it's a price to pay. All the stars are doing it. We've seen the pictures. Drew Barrymore, uh, Demi Moore did it with all her kids. A lot of husbands and wives are doing it, so that's kind of why I wanted to do it with you guys. Nice. This is an ancient Korean secret. The manufacturer says it's inspired by the lotus flower blossoming anew each day. So you just evenly apply it to all those areas that need a little extra love. You know, the crow's feet, John. Oh, really? Thanks. <laughs> it's the hidden world of beauty. I'm feeling a little vulnerable. All you need to do is get this great gel all over your face, apply it evenly, and then we wait 15 minutes for the magic to happen. And then I can look like Jason Momoa? Sweet. I probably should have told you this before we did it. It's called the old lady and old man mask, so something's going to start happening. Hey, everyone on Instagram and Facebook. We're in the middle of our Eight Steps to Beauty on Living 808. We've applied the famous star's secret Korean mask. You feeling good? I feel like my face is shrinking. You look like you're 80 years old. Now, we have to wait about 15 minutes for it really to do its magic. I can't smile. I'm barely moving my lips. No pain, no gain. You guys, I am so excited. We got to experience this together. Such great group bonding. We're tightening together. We're lifting together. But I got to be honest, I feel like my face is about to explode and like fall off. You know, I feel it tightening. Um, Tanya, Anna, am I going to die? I, I feel really uncomfortable. I'm always moisturizing and putting lotion, but I definitely don't want to be let down. If this is another thing that doesn't let me look like Jason Malaw, I would be really upset. I'm just letting you know. Can you see it in my face? I'm really going to be upset. OK, Mikey. Wait a second. I'm in the men's room. Yep. It's actually a lot cleaner than I thought it was going to be. It's off. All right, we're good to go. So we need to rinse this off with warm water, and we got the lotion for afterwards. So I'll be in the next room. OK, sounds good. Thank you. really impressed with the mask treatment. It seemed to freshen my complexion. My skin feels tighter and healthier, too. I'm really happy with the results. It was totally worth going through the process. The process kind of scared me. There was a point where I thought I couldn't breathe and was going to, like, die. But, you know, it didn't kill me. And I'm excited about that. It's, it's good to be alive, and my skin feels nice, too. This has been one of the most rewarding facial experiences of my life. Right now, my skin is at peak perfection. I have never felt more beautiful or more radiant. I'm like a lotus blossom, supple yet firm. I'm like Jason Momoa, but without all the hair. Thank you, Korean facial mask. As you can see, none of this is easy, but we do it all for you. Okay, maybe I could be a stunt double. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know if you've seen this. It is called Hana Cure. I think we can say the name since we did it. But um, you leave it on for 30 minutes. It cracks. It's crazy. But you do feel fresh afterwards, right? Yeah. Uh, is it worth it? I will never do anything like that again. <laughs> I'm just saying. Jason Momoa? <laughs> No, it's Dang. Mike, it's me. Oh, shoot. It's me, John. I just got catfish on the, on the set. Oh, man. 
<laughs> All right. Dude, we're having way too much fun, but the fun is still to come. When we come back, we're throwing axes in San Diego. We visit a place called Axe Ventures when San Diego Week continues.